Stylish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate all of my subscribers. You guys have really been a pillar of support for me on this my YouTube journey. So thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. If you are new to my channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit on the notification bell, that bell just beside the subscribe button to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And then if you find this illustration that I'm about to do helpful, please do not hesitate to hit on the like button. I would really appreciate it if you would do that. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you how to draft a trumpet off shoulder bustier gown. So this gown, you could actually use it for a party, you could use it as a dinner dress, you could use it for various occasions. So that's just what I'm about to do and I'm going to be making this illustration so detailed that even a beginner, you'll be able to watch this video and then be able to cut your own fabric and then make this dress out of it. So without much talk, so let's get straight to the point. So I have um, two um, pattern papers here. I'm going to be making use, this is going to be for the back and then this one that I have my lines on is going to be for the front. So the back pattern is like two inch bigger than the front pattern. So I'm just going to be keeping the back pattern on the side. I'm going to work on the this one and then use this to cut out the front one. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be explaining the lines that I have for you because it's an off shoulder gown. So I'm going to be explaining to you. So the first thing in drafting this kind of off shoulder bust here, the top part is, you could see the dress is actually divided into three segments. So to make the complete and silhouette. So the first one, the first part we are going to be drafting is the upper part of the bodies. That's what we are going to be drafting. Then we'll draft the middle part and then the down part. So for the first up part is the off shoulder liner so i sorry is the off shoulder part of the bust here so the first thing i have here i have some couple of lines here i'm going to be explaining it real quick in drafting an off shoulder you subtract five inches this is like standard five inches from your shoulder line so this is like my five inches so this will not be like my shoulder line and then the next line that i have here is my bust line so because from my shoulder to my bust uh, point is 10 inches so that is why you see my 10 inches here so this is my bust point and then the next line that i have after the bust point line that's from my shoulder now to my under bust is 13 inches so this is my under bust measurement and then the next line that i have that's this top this last one is from the shoulder to 16 inches which is half of my that's my waist measurement that's where i'm going to be cutting where the first cut is going to be so that's it and then i have my allowance so the next thing i'm going to do now you insert and your dart and inserting the dart for this bust here you measure half of your bust and span measurement so half and half of my bust span measurement is eight is four inches because the full um size is four is eight inches so eight inches you divide into two so that is what gave me this four inches so i'm just going to be marking marking it like this so i'll connect it now with a straight ruler so i'm just going to connect it now so now i have my lines here so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to take take out the dart and in taking out the dart i'll come to the under bust measurement just the under bust line i'll measure one inch to the right hand side and then i'll measure one inch to the left hand side so this is like my one inch here one inch so and then i'll come to the top point here on the right hand side of the shoulder line i'll measure one inch here and then i'll come to the left hand side i'll take out half an inch so so i'm actually use one inch so you could decide to do that so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to be taking this point from my one inch point now. I'll be taking it to this point and then to this point. So I'll use my ruler to do that. When I'm done, I'll blend it up. So the next thing I'll do now from this point also, I'll take it to this point and then bring it to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll just take my pattern curve and then blend it up. Because I don't want it to be sharp. So that's just the essence. So it's, it's curved now. So it's not sharp. So from this point, I'll bring it down. 
I'll just maintain the line like this. So now the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to start taking out and uh, measuring out the measurement. So the first thing I'm going to do now, take out, I'll measure out the shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement for this um, gown is 14 inches. 14 inches, which is when you divide into two, you have seven inches. This is seven inches. And you remember the 1.5 inch that we took out from this point. So I'll add it to it. That will give me 8.5. And then I'll add my allowance to it. You could add between one or two inches allowance. So I'll add my allowance like this. So this is now my line. So the next thing I'll do now from this point, and you remember we dropped, we actually dropped initially with five inches. So in order for me to get my armhole, so I'm going to be placing that five inch back on it, or else I'll run into problems. So I'm going to be using eight inches for my for my armhole. So this is the line, this is the point. So I'm just going to use a straight line to connect from here. So this is like, so when you put your tape like this now, you have your full, this is your full 8 inches on it now. So this is your full 8 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to mark it out like this. And then I'm going to measure out uh, my armhole. Sorry, I'm going to carve, carve out my armhole measurement. So in carving out my armhole measurement, I'll measure the bust uh, measurement, which is um, 36. And when I divide 36 into four i have nine inches so this is like my nine inch and then from this small point a little uh, tiny inch is coming out which is a half inch inch so that is 9.5 inches and then i'll add my allowance to it so i'll add my allowance to it so this line now i'm connecting it to this point so in order for me to know where i'm going to slant my armhole from that's just the essence so that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure the under bust measurements. You remember we measured out the under bust. And you remember from the under bust, we actually took out two inches from this point. So that two inches is applicable to this whole point. So in for the under bust measurement, it's 28 inches. When you divide 28 into four, you have a seven inches. So and I'll add my two inches that I took out. So that makes it nine inches. So this is my nine inches and then I'll add my allowance to it. I'll add my allowance to it of the three inches I've been using. So this is it now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure my waist uh, measurement. And my waist measurement is, this is my waistline. So the waist um, measurement is 32 inches. So when you divide 32 into four, you have eight inches. I remember we took out two inches for the dart. So this is eight inches plus the two inches. So that makes it 10 inches. And then I'll add uh, my allowance to it. So now I'm just going to, to take, I'm just going to carve it out now. So I'm just going to blend this point so it is not sharp. So this is just like the upper part of our body. So now the next thing I'll do now, I'll cut it out. So I'll cut it like this. So this is our front pattern so with this front pattern now i'm going to be cutting out the back pattern so the simple thing that i normally do i normally take it like this in order for me to get the accurate body measurement i'll take this to the side i'll just place it like this at half an inch point i'll place it on top like this and then i'll cut out the shape out first i'm just going to cut out the shape So now I have my body, the full body measurement. And then for the back that all I know what most times what I normally do, I'll, I'll first I'll, the first thing I'll measure out the, the zipper allowance uh, measurement. So I'll just use this, my straight ruler to rule it down. So 
so this is like my zipper allowance so the next thing in dotting it i could decide to just dot it like this or i could decide to use my bust and span measurement most times i'll use my bust span measurement which is four remember the four inches that i did so i'm just going to measure it from the top and then measure it from the down point also So I'll connect it straight from up down like this. So guys, the next thing, like I said, we're going to be doing the other part. That's the center part of our of our gown. So in doing this, most times I normally bring on this part. I'm just going to bring it to serve as a guide for me. So I normally use it as a guide. So I'm just going to place it like this. And then I'm going to introduce the new lines to you. So this was um our, this was initially this was our bust line waist um under bust line waist line. So now the next thing we are going to have now this is like a new waist line. I'm going to explain it for you. I'm going to explain in the sense that in making a gown, remember that <clears throat> this first cut that we had on the gown was here, was just like uh, on top of the belly button. That was where the cut is, and in making this gown. You are not going to you are not going to use the same measurement that you have here you are not going to use it for your new waistline so that is why we have this extension so you measure from your shoulder from your shoulder line you measure to 19 inches which is like uh, you measure for mine is 19 inches so that's from my shoulder to my waistline my, that's my new waistline is 19 inches because I need the measurement of this point in order for me to for my my gown to fit perfectly. So that is why I have this new line. If not, I would have just start marking, and at the end of the day, you find out that your gown around this your tummy area it will be bulging, it will not fit properly. So I need this line from it to fit perfectly well. So that's just the essence of this line. So when you now put your tape like this, so you see now I have. Like I said, I have 19 inches. So, so it's from this point. Now, this uh, measurement, I'm going to take it down. That's this waist measurement. I'll take it down to this point. Then from this point, I'm going to get this actual waist measurement. And then before I get my hip measurement. So this is now, this is my hip line. So this is my hip line. So which is 9 inches apart from this, from this waistline. That's from this point to this point is 9 inches. I'm just explaining for the sake of beginners. Because I really want you to understand so you'll be able to make this dress. So that's just the essence of my talking so much. So let's continue, please. So the next thing I'm going to do now, in inserting my waist measurement, you remember the waist measurement that, that we had here, which is which was uh, actually 20, 32 inches, which is 8 inches. So I'm just going to measure it like this now. I'm going to measure it which is 8 inches this is my 8 inches and then I'll add my allowance to it remember I've been using 3 inches allowance so this is my 3 inches allowance why I'm adding 3 inches allowance because I'm going to be taking out that from this point so to make because I want it to fit I want it to actually fit and um, perfect I'll take out 1 inch from this point so I'm going to show you that when I'm done I'll show you how to take out the dart from this down part of this skirt so this is uh so i'm just going to come like this you remember this point so i'm just going most times i normally follow this point like this so i'm just going to to make my curve like this so i'm just going to use um this to, to curve it out so I, I want it to be on the same line so i'll just bring this one here in order for me to get it perfectly so it will look like it's coming like this you could see you could see what i mean so the shape is coming like this from the top it's coming from the top like this so and then i'll now get out my hip measurement so that's just the essence and you remember the the darts that i told you so i'm just going to take out the darts now so this is my four inch point so i'm just going to come down from this point i really don't want it to be too long so i'll come down by five inches so I'll come, I'll come down from this point you could do four you could do five so it depends on what you want how long you actually want the darts to be so I'll just and then I'll use half inch from this point half inch
so guys so I've, i took out um, one inch one inch that's for my dad i took out one inch from the new waistline so just to make it fit properly so when i'm sewing it fits properly i came down by five inch so that's that so the next thing i'll measure the hip measurement this is my hip line so my hip uh, measurement is actually 40 inches so this is like my 40 inches on this point and then i'll use uh, my three inches that i've been using but my pattern paper is not enough so i'm just going to make use of the two inches that is left on the edge so i'm just i'm going to connect my curve now for my hip so the next thing i'm going to measure now i'm going to measure my knee measurement because this gun you know that because of the, the down part the flare that is attached to it you have to measure how wide you want the down part to be so my knee uh, measurement i'm going to make use of 30 inches because i don't want the knee to be wide because it is the closeness of the knee that gives it that fit so i will use 30 inches so when you divide 30 into 4 you have um, 7.5 so this is my 7.5 and then i'll add my allowance and then i'm just going to slant it with a straight line like this i'm going to slant it to this point like this for my knee measurement so you could see what i have so you could see the shape of my gown so this is like the the only thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to include the back part and the, in including the back panel all you have to do is you cut out the same exact part but you add two inches allowance to reach for your zipper allowance so i'm just going to use this um my ruler to indicate the zipper allowance for the back part so i'll use a different uh, colored marker so you know the back panel so that is for the back panel so this is for the back panel so you add you add um you add it so when measuring you know that you add to you add this point to to this side so this is just like the full um bodies so that's for the middle part and then you add two inches allowance so i just use this marker so i will know that this is the back and the front so that's the essence so i'm going to cut it out now so you can see what i have so the next thing i'm going to do now cut down the i'll cut i'm going to be cutting out the down parts of this uh dress of this up shoulder dress but i'm not going to be showing the how to cut the peplum all you have to do is follow the regular peplum um measurement and then measure out the down part of your that's the knee measurement and then use it to calculate the radius of your circle and then cut out your peplum so that is that you could decide to do that you could decide to cut a peplum you could decide to cut an a line for it for the down part in cutting an a line all you have to do is you fold your fabric or your pattern paper at a right angle triangle and then you take this piece like this and then you place on top you place it on top like this and then you get out the measurement and then you could if you want to do an a-line i'm just using this and then you could decide to just go like this see what i have you could decide to just go like this and then you cut out your flay triangle for the down part of your gown so that's just that part so i'm not going to do deliberate on that the next thing i'm going to do now i'll show you how to cut the sleeves so that's it okay guys so for the sleeve so i'm just going to keep it on the side i'm going to come back to it later but first of all let me explain the neckline to you i know i actually have a, a video of a neckline like this on my channel but i'm just still going to illustrate it here so for this kind of neckline, if you see, it's a sweetheart neckline. So I'm going to use three inches width. That's the width of three inches. And then the depth. You remember, we have our five inches, which is constant because of the off shoulder um, part. So don't forget, because if you, if you measure it like this, you are going to run into problems. So from this point, now I know that I'm going to measure six inches because I really don't want it to be too deep. You could make yours deeper so it depends on what you want so this is this this is like six inches that's from my shoulder line six inches and then i measure three inches and width so i'm just going to curve it like this i'm going to be using a reverse so i'm just coming like this if you actually want it deeper you could do that so i'm going to be doing that so i'm i'm drawing like this 
and then for this point i'll come down to from the armhole line i'm measuring my five inches also to just make sure because i really don't want the armhole part to be deep also so i'll just use like 6.5 so i'm going to come like this so you could see what i'm doing and then if you want it deeper you could decide to come down more you could decide to come down more so i'll use my my curve now to curve it all out so this is the neckline so i'm just going to cut it out now for you to see So you can see my neckline so it looks so perfect so i'm just going to place out um, the fold and um, dress but before then for the for the sleeve i'm just going to do a quick explanation for you I'm not... so for the sleeve uh, measurement i'm just going to explain it to you so you take you measure from this point of your from your armhole like this that's from the under of your armhole to this point so that is what will give you the width of what you want for instance mine is about 10 inches and then you fold your fabric into two and then if you want it ruffled like the one that is on the picture it was actually pleated you could decide to double the the measurement you could decide to use 20 or you use 15 inches since you are going to be pleating it and then you measure so this is just like 12 inches i'm going to be making use of 12 inches so and then you after cutting this is 12 inches so you go, what you have to do is you are going to be pleating this 12 inches then after cutting and sewing and turning and then you pleat it to you all you have to do is just pleat it like this on the middle on the center you just pleat like this fix your pleats on it nicely so you fix your pleats on it nicely and then you 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 get the center line and then you stitch down like this on the on the middle just to hold your pleats and then at the end of the day you have your 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 sleeve measurement and then you connect it because of the the, the length the side you connect it from this point like i said it's on pleats and then you connect it you just fix it from this point like this of your armhole to this point that's from this front armhole like this you fix it to the back armhole i'm not explaining that on this video so I'm just going to leave that out and then place out um, the dress properly for you in order for you to see and understand what I've done. Okay, guys, so you can see. So this is our gown. So guys, I've now come to the end of this illustration. If you find what I did, help me.